today we're going to grill some vegetables you can also do this in your oven so I'm going to start with this nice red pepper here this is a Spanish mammoth pepper and I'm also going to use some of the lemon thyme you see me using this a lot it's my favorite thyme and then of course the Romanesco zucchini that I've been using um, for a about the last month here in August, I've been using it a lot. So I wanna go ahead and get my coals ready. And I'm going to go ahead and slice the zucchini here. And um, this got really big at the end for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I just wanna take the uh, neck of it here. And um, then I'm going to slice the peppers also. And then I have some onion I wanna slice. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up this pepper until I get to the seeds. And I noticed that it was a little bit brown in there sometimes when they're really ripe on the bush they will um, just get kind of brown up there in the top so I discarded that and then I went ahead and sliced some red onion also which I did not grow <laughs> but I wanted to make sure to slice these thick enough so that when I put them on the grill they will not fall through the grate so I also have the serrano pepper here which is nice and hot and I love the flavor too I just cut it up in a little bit so that some of that heat can get in there and maybe some of the seeds can fall out too while it's cooking and now I'll just go ahead and brush each side of the vegetables with some safflower oil sometimes I use those little vegetable um, pans that you can put directly on your grill to keep your vegetables from falling through but I always hate to use those because then I've got to go back in and I've got to clean them and after they've been on the grill they're just nasty so I tend not to use those and so now we want to go ahead and salt um, one side here now I'll go ahead and make a light dressing and so I'm going to use the juice from about half of a lemon along with a little bit of the zest from half of the lemon and I'm just getting off the beautiful little yellow part and not hitting the white part, okay? And then we will use a little bit of the thyme leaves. And I'm just picking these leaves off of the uh, woody stem. That's a little bit of a tedious process, but it sure is good. And a good pinch of salt along with some black pepper and about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in pretty good. I'm not including a recipe for this because it's so simple. <laughs> and um, I guess I used about a tablespoon of leaves, of the thyme leaves, okay? So let's go ahead and get this on the grill. And um, I want to go ahead and get this cooking pretty good. Uh, I guess I let it cook about probably five minutes and it really kind of depends on how hot your coals are. I suggest you make them pretty hot. I don't like my vegetables overcooked. I just like to bring out the flavor so I'm just cooking these lightly here when I put these on the grill I put the salted side down and then I went back and salted the top of them so both sides are salted so after about um, I guess it was probably eight to ten minutes they were ready so I got my bowl and I want to put these in there immediately because that heat from the vegetables is going to kind of warm those thyme leaves and bring some of that flavor out and it will be beautiful So now I'll just give them a good toss. Make sure you mix them all up real good and get that dressing all over the um, vegetables. I saved some of the onion for burgers um, later. And so it was time to have a little lunch. So I hope you can give this recipe a try. It's really simple and it really helps preserve the flavor and bring out the flavors even of your fresh vegetables from your garden. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And also if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe and then head on over to my channel where over there I have a playlist section. And if you click over there, you will see multiple different ways that you can use other vegetables in your garden. I've organized these by um, different vegetables and herbs. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.